Self-harm. Understanding self-harm is the first step towards providing help and support to those who need it. Self-harm, also known as self-injury, is the act of deliberately harming one's own body. It can take many forms such as cutting, burning, or hitting oneself. This behavior is often a way for individuals to cope with overwhelming emotional pain, stress, or trauma. There are several types of self-harm, each with its own characteristics. The most common forms include cutting, using sharp objects to cut the skin, burning, using heat or chemicals to burn the skin, hitting or banging, hitting oneself or banging one's head against a surface, interfering with wound healing, preventing wounds from healing properly. Understanding these different types helps in identifying and addressing the behavior effectively. Self-harm is a significant public health issue worldwide, including in Nigeria. Epidemiological studies indicate that self-harm is particularly prevalent among adolescents and young adults. The stigma surrounding mental health in Nigeria often exacerbates the problem, leading to underreporting and inadequate support for those affected. Initial management of self-harm involves immediate medical care to address any physical injuries. This includes cleaning and dressing wounds and providing pain relief. Equally important is the emotional support and reassurance provided to the individual during this critical time. The assessment and further management. A comprehensive assessment is essential for understanding the underlying causes of self-harm. This involves a detailed evaluation of the individual's mental health, social circumstances, and any coexisting psychiatric conditions. Further management may include cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, and dialectical behavior therapy, DBT, are effective in treating self-harm. Antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications may be prescribed if there is an underlying mental health condition. Support networks, encouraging the involvement of family and friends in the recovery process. The prognosis for individuals who self-harm varies. With appropriate treatment and support, many people can overcome self-harm and lead fulfilling lives. However, ongoing monitoring and support are crucial to prevent relapse and address any recurring issues. Preventing self-harm involves a multifaceted approach. Education. Raising awareness about self-harm and mental health through educational programs. Early intervention. Identifying and providing support to at-risk individuals early on. Community support. Strengthening community networks to offer support and reduce stigma. Policy implementation. Advocating for mental health policies that promote access to care and support. Remember, self-harm is a sign of deep emotional distress. By understanding, supporting, and providing the necessary resources, we can make a difference in the lives of those who self-harm. Thank you for joining us in this important conversation. Stay informed, stay compassionate, and let's work together towards a healthier future.